Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lins, and Google has sneakily dropped the developer preview for Android 11 on us. We've got a Pixel 3 here, so we installed it so we could show you what's new so far. Currently, it's only available to download for a few Pixel phones, anything from Pixel 2 and onwards, including all the XL versions. Now, this isn't a public beta. It's not for the average consumer. It's definitely not for everyone. That means to install it, you have to go through the process of wiping and flashing your phone. And I've got to admit, it does feel kind of cool and nerdy when you're doing it, but it's really not worth trying if your Pixel is your only and primary phone. So here's a look at the new features so far. The biggest visual change is bubbles. When you receive a message through the regular messages app, you can have it show up a notification in a floating bubble on the screen. It's similar to chat heads in Facebook Messenger. Now, eventually this will be available to other third-party apps too, but currently, this being a developer preview and the very first developer preview, it's currently only available on the default, already installed messages app. To use it, just long press a message notification and click on the send it to a bubble, and now you get a bubble. Now one cool new feature, which some other Android phones already do, like the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7T, is screen recording. Now you drop down the quick settings shade and the option is right there. Tap it, start recording, and it'll record everything you do on your screen. When you're ready to stop, you just drop down the notifications from the top and hit stop on that particular notification. Another thing that Android 11 does is it organizes your notifications better into groups. And one of those groups is conversations. So let's say you're in the aforementioned SMS messages and the notifications appear at the top of the screen in an easy to read section. That makes it easy to quickly reply and carry on with your tasks, splitting them away from the other stuff you probably don't care about as much. Now, dark mode first appeared as a system wide native setting on Android 10. But now with Android 11, you can schedule it or at least have more control about when it's gonna come on and when it's gonna go off again. So you can set it for sunset and sunrise, which some phones do already, or you can choose an exact time you want it to come on and an exact time when you want it to switch off again. In Android 11, there will be better control of your privacy and data and location and which apps get access to what and which apps are separated and joined. But one of the big things that you can do is single time permissions. Now this specifically means that when you open up an app that requires location or some other form of access to your data, you can choose to have it access it only that one single time. You don't have to choose between all the time or whenever the app is open. You can just do it each every individual time that you want it to be allowed access to that particular permission and then it will never do it again unless you tell it to do it another time. Now, lastly, in our list of things we can actually show you is pinning apps to the top of your share sheet. Now, if you regularly use the same few apps to share links or files or whatever it may be, and you don't wanna to have to keep going hunting through that share sheet for the particular app that you want, you can just press and hold it and pin it to the top so it's easy to get to every time. Android 11 will include better support for foldable displays and different notches of different sizes and hole punch camera cutouts for selfie cameras, as well as better 5G support and control over the quality of the music and the video that you're streaming based on the quality of your 5G connection. That's pretty cool. As well as some other developer focused changes, which will become more evident when the public beta comes out later this year. So that's it for now, some changes we've spotted in the Android 11 developer preview. Now it's worth noting that these developer previews often include things that don't ever make it to even the public beta, let alone the actual full release later in the year in around September, October time. So there's some of these things I've shown you that might not even be there by the time you get to try the software. But that's what's in there for now and so far, it's looking pretty good. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Follow me there, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos and thumbs up if you like it. It really does help the channel out. Bye for now.